Well, every three minutes, someone will visit an ER with a reaction to food. It's a growing problem that researchers estimate affects up to 15 million Americans. Even more startling, it affects one in every 13 children. Joining me today to talk about what you need to know about dealing with food allergies is Dr. Dat Tran, a pediatric allergist at Children's Memorial Hermann Hospital. Good morning and thank you for being with us today. Such an important conversation to have. You brought, we brought in some EpiPens today to talk about how important it is to have these on hand for anybody who has life-threatening allergies. The problem from what I've learned and through some of my research is that 25% of anaphylactic shock happens for the first time at school. Parents aren't even expecting that to happen. That's right, so food allergy can be mild with just hives, or it can be extremely life-threatening and affecting your breathing and your heart. Being a food allergy sufferer like myself and having my son who also has peanut allergy, I know how that feels. This can be really anxiety provoking because it can happen rapidly, it can ha happen suddenly and unpredictably, and it can affect your breathing. So it's extremely dangerous and most of the time parents don't know what causes. So I developed a mnemonic to how to approach it is eat. E for exposure, so first identify what is the trigger and you need your allergist to help you uh, figure that out. A, develop a strategy for avoidance, how to avoid it, and then T for treatment, have a, a treatment plan so upon uh, accidental exposure because the sooner you get the treatment in, the uh, better you are at protecting yourself from these uh, life-threatening effects. And so you actually deal with this on two bases then, your very own family, your son, and that's your job to help protect children. That's you correct. were talking about that plan, and I think it's really important for parents to know with school starting that there's some very important paperwork that you need to know about. There's something called the Food Allergy Action Plan, right. but there's also a 504 plan. And from the parents I've talked to, a lot of them don't realize that that's an option. And you think that that's a really good thing, especially for someone who has life threatening allergies? Right. Yes, the 504 plan basically mandates that any school that gets federal funding needs to provide a safe environment for kids with disability, physical and mental, so kids with allergies, they need to divide, make sure that the kid, especially with sphere allergies, make sure the kid doesn't get exposed yeah. to accidental exposure to peanuts. We also want to talk about EpiPens, how important right. it is to know how to do it, even if your own child right. doesn't have allergies, to know in case you needed to help somebody else. So you're going to show it. So right. we're going to actually take this little piece of adipose tissue, and we're just going to walk through our viewers of how you would go about doing this. So there are two type of, uh, well, there's many, but here's the two common ones. This one's been out there for a long time. Mm -hmm. And basically when you get one of these twin packs, it comes with two epinephrine and then a dem demonstration for you to practice. Mm -hmm. So in an event where your kid is developing an allergic reaction, so little rash here and there is okay, you can give mm -hmm. the kid uh, Benadryl, but any reaction that gets you scared, if you yourself is heart racing, get this epinephrine in early. So when it comes out, there's a orange and then there's a blue. Mm -hmm. So the blue is you need to first remove this so that you can activate, because if you don't remove it, it prevents accidental injection. Okay. So first you remove it, and then you wanna hold it firmly like this. Try not to get into a habit of holding like this because you can accidentally get nervous and have your thumb on the orange mm -hmm. and when you push down, oh, you can inject yourself. You hold like this, you don't need to jab it. Get to the outer th upper thigh to where the meat is mm -hmm. and then you just push down firmly on it and you press down on it. So you wanna push down on the outer and press down and, there, and it injects mm -hmm. and then the needle then gets covered up. And then how the old are you gonna hold it? How long am I gonna hold it down? Is so it five seconds? Five to 10 seconds. Oops, you can just count. Five, and then you're out, and that's yep. it. Now, yes. once you do this, everyone needs to know that you have to call 911 immediately. This is, you You need medical help after that's doing correct. that. That's correct, that's correct. This just provides you with temporary relief and, uh, and stop the blockage of airway and maintaining blood pressure until EMS come and provide you with support. The second one is there in case the first one malfunction or in case within five to 10 minutes and EMS hasn't come, you use the second one. All right, on our nine o'clock news tonight, I'm gonna show you how this new talking one is making a huge difference, <laughs> and so we're looking Looking forward to that. No All right, Jose. We're going to talk about what's coming up to next on Fox 26 News, and that is an in-depth look at what schools are doing to deal with the growing threat of food allergies. Yes. We'll talk more about that tonight at nine. And now for something completely different. If your iPhone.